in the woods Guys, I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School out here at a primitive debris shelter that was built by the last basic primitive class that was out here. And what I want to do today is I want to show you a product that I've been in research and development with uh, Duluth Pack Company on for about the last six months. And what it is basically, there are similar products that have been talked about in video. I actually did a video over a year ago um, about a raised bed basically called the poacher's camp. If you look at that video from about a year ago, it's this very same concept. And I saw that concept while I was in Asia. And reading Horace Kephart's book, Camping and Woodcraft, I have seen examples of the exact same type of setup by Horace Kephart used back in the early 1900s. So I wanted to develop something very similar to that that would be a product that would become a bedroll as well as becoming a raised bed and also have the possibility to be used for a hammock if you wanted to use it that way. So we're working on this product right now. I think I've got a final prototype and I've had it for probably two weeks right now and I haven't shot a video on it yet. Um, but I brought it out to the woods today with me. Um, I set up a couple of tripods. You'll see that in this video at the beginning and I used straight lash to set those tripods up to put this raised bed on. You could also use a couple of logs that are notched out for your bed frame, and I'll show you, we'll talk about that when we set this bed up. That's what Horace Kephart did. The people in Asia usually just tie them to trees or put stakes in the ground over top of a log to hold them apart. What we're going to do today is we're going to build tripods for them because as I continue with things showing you new woodcrafting type skills like bindings and lashings like we did in the Roycroft pack frame, I wanted to show you a straight lash, and I used a straight lash today to make these tripods. I also used a new camera today, um, a POV type camera. It's not a GoPro. It's by uh, Weapons Vision is the name of the company that makes it. It's just a cylindrical camera and it seems to work pretty good. We'll see what the footage looks like when I get this video done and then I'll be the judge of that. But I'm going to start messing with that camera a little bit too. It's cheaper than a GoPro. It shoots high definition footage at 30 frames per second. So I've had a lot of guys ask me about cameras. So I'm testing a couple different cameras out at the same time so I can give you guys even further information about how to shoot YouTube videos and things like that as well. So stay with me. We're going to get this, these two tripods set up and get this bed going. All right, guys, so we've got our two tripods that we lashed together here. We've got two poles here, approximately seven feet long, and we have our bedroll that I've taken off my wool blanket. And the way this thing works is, basically you would roll your wool blanket inside of this bedroll, and you have straps out here that actually buckle it down. And then you could either attach that to a tump line if that's what you chose to do, or stick it under the frame of a backpack, like the bull pack frame or something like that. And then when you open it up, it's basically just a piece of real heavy canvas that has tubes on both sides, almost like a stretcher. Very simple concept. Almost like the feed bags, except you've got sleeves in there, and very similar to what Horace Kephart describes in his writings. So all we're going to do is we're going to put our poles through here, set our tripods up between these two trees where we could stretch a tarp, and then we'll test it out. Put this thing on some pretty solid ground. It's not sliding around on us too much. Pretty much as simple as just feeding these saplings right through these tubes. They should be long enough that they're sticking out a little bit on both ends. And then we'll measure how far our tripods are apart. Move them to where they need to be. That gives us one side pretty close. We'll probably have to adjust this a little bit 
as we go. Okay guys, so I want to let you know, you know, this is all about R&D. So I think this is a little bit too wide as far as this piece of canvas goes. It was supposed to be three and a half feet by seven feet, which is about what Kephart called for in his book. We may have added too much on the sleeves. I wanted them to be at least four inch diameter in case somebody wanted an extra large sapling in there, depending on what they weighed and things like that. But I think it's a little bit too wide. So what I did was I rolled it up a little bit on one side over here and just diagonal lashed it so it couldn't come undone or couldn't spin unrolled. So now what I've got is I've got that raised bed. I've got a little bit of an angle down toward my feet. And it swallows me up pretty good now. It feels nice and comfortable. There ain't no doubt I could sleep here. I've got some clearance under the ground underneath me. Probably about that much. Um, what I would do in a situation of cold weather with this thing is I would probably stuff the whole bottom of this with leaves. That way there's no convection issues like you get with a hammock. I would just stuff a big bed of leaves underneath this and then I would sink myself into the leaves. But I'm still up off the ground. So I'm not getting a lot of moisture or anything like that. Stretch my tarp right over top of me. Yeah, you could definitely sleep comfortable all night in this beyond a shadow of a doubt. And it could stand to be maybe a little wider. I could have took one roll out of this maybe. But it's not bad the way it is for sure. My shoulders are pretty wide. But I'm pretty comfortable in here. It's about like a hammock. It just kind of swallows you up a little bit. But it's definitely got plenty of length to it on both ends. For me, I'm only five foot eight, so you know, but it is seven feet long, so it's got a few inches on each end. Feels pretty good. I think uh, that's a nice, a nice option for a raised bed. And it feels really comfortable. Okay, so. Let's talk about another way that this piece of gear can be multi-purpose. And that is, because it's as wide as it is, we can actually sleep on the ground in dry weather with just our wool blanket. And we can use this for a tarp or a shade or cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie just a piece of rope to one of these poles with just a clove hitch knot. I'm going to shove that pole through one of those sleeves. And what that's going to do for me is that's going to give me the ability to put this cordage through that sleeve. I'll just tie a clove hitch in that real quick. Shove it through the sleeve here. Just like this. Right off the roll. And then when I untie the other end, I can pull that back out of there and I'll still have that piece of cordage sticking out the end. Give myself a little extra there, and then I'll retrieve the stick out of here. Okay, so I just strung that rope in between those two trees, just exactly like I do pretty much with every other shelter video, except I tied a slip knot release loop on the one side, trucker stitch on the other. Now I'm going to take this pole and I put it in the back side, just like this same pole I had cut and that will allow me to stretch that tarp out and I've got a couple stakes cut right here and I'll just put these stakes in the corners just like this to hold this thing out tight And now I have a bit of shelter here that I could get under with my wool blanket. That's going to be seven feet long. So I'm going to have plenty of room and get under here and sleep. And this will keep any rain off of me that would happen to come during the night. Okay, so now what I've done is I've just ran those lines, basically a rope line, through both of those sleeves to make it impromptu quickie hammock. Now this thing's not going to be the most comfortable thing in the world. It's definitely going to taco you. You could lash a couple fork sticks together and put a spreader in here 
easy enough, one on each end. Open that thing up like a lawn hammock at that point. But it will work like this. Um, I've got a bunch of equipment on here. I'll try not to kill myself getting in. But it's not too, it's not too awful ugly. And like I said, it is seven feet long. So you got plenty of length. And just, you're gonna be a side sleeper in this thing probably. But it ain't bad for sure. And if you were under a tarp or something like that, you could definitely sleep like this without a doubt. So it's not too awful ugly. Probably a lot harder to get out of than it is to get into, would be my guess. But you could just shuffle your way to the bottom and stand up, basically, if you wanted to, just like that, and spread it back out before you got into it. So it will definitely work as a quickie hammock if needed. Better for a raised bed, but it will definitely work for that. Gives you some options and versatility of the piece of equipment. Okay, guys, well, I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. Appreciate you joining me today. And this is basically the configuration that that bedroll is meant to be carried in. It's got my wool blanket inside. Put a couple split rings on here or D rings on here. And you've got yourself a tump line. If you put a strap on there, I've got one at the house for this. Um, more R&D. You know, like I said, I don't, I could have released this product three weeks ago. I could have turned Tom Seg on and said, hey, put it on your site. Let's get it rocking. But until I test things like this and use them a little bit, it's not good enough for me. I've got axes. I've got a Condor Greenland axe that's been outside for ever since I shot the video on it. Probably five, six months. Hasn't never went in the house. And until that thing falls apart, then I'll know how long it's going to last. We use it every class. We beat the crap out of it. You know, I've got a bush lure, condor bush lure, same story, outside all the time. My tarp that's set up, if you remember when I did the canoe video of doing a canoe camp, I had a Duluth trail tarp on that canoe. It has never come off of there. Rain, sleet, snow, winter, summer, fall, it stayed on there. I have never taken it in the house. I want to put it on there and leave it there until it falls apart. I want to know how much weather and rain and wind and all that stuff it can stand. So when we do R&D work, we do it because we want to sell bulletproof products, even if they're more expensive products like Duluth Pack Company. But everything they make is guaranteed for life, just like this bedroll will be when it's finished. So I got a little bit more R&D to do on this before it's going to be released for sale. But it should be, within the next couple months, it should be out on Duluth's website with a link on our website. I appreciate you guys joining me for this video. I thank you for your support. I thank you for everything you do for me, for my school, for my family, for all my Pathfinder affiliates and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks.